Carnivorous plants. Like animals eat plants, plants also eat animals. Are you surprised to know this? This is true. And these special category plants are called carnivorous plants. In nature, animals eat plants as a source of food. However, there are special plants that eat animals. And these plants have unique hydrolytic enzymes to digest the trapped animals. Commonly known carnivorous plants are pitcher plants and Venus flytraps. Pitcher plants have modified leaves to form a deep cavity filled with digestive enzymes. These plants attract their prey by the nectar and drown and digest the trapped animals. Venus flytrap consists of two trapping structures at the end of each leaf and the closing movement is determined by the tiny hair present in the inner side of the flap when it senses the movement. For digestion, these lobes will be tightly closed and form a stomach-like structure where digestive enzymes are secreted and the animals are digested. Based on trapping mechanisms, these plants are divided into three categories. 1. The first category is pitfall traps. Pitfall traps have rolled leaf-like structures forming a deep cavity with a pool of digestive hydrolytic enzymes to digest the insects. These include pitcher plants. 2. The second category is snap traps. Snap traps utilize rapid movements of the leaf to trap their prey. The leaf end is modified to form two lobes. These include the Venus flytrap. 3. The third category is flypaper traps. Flypaper traps use sticky fluids to trap their prey. These plants use sticky mucilage-like substances to lure and trap their prey in the mucilage. These include pinguicula, commonly known as butterworts. Besides these three categories, some carnivorous plants use a combination of these mechanisms to trap their prey. For example, the sundew Drosera glandulitera uses both snap and flypaper traps. It is commonly known as the catapult flypaper trap. These carnivorous plants have specialized secretion glands to secrete different digestive and hydrolytic enzymes that form a special kind of fluid to digest the prey by making a solution and assimilating the released nutrients. Carnivorous plants get some or most of their nutrients by trapping and digesting animals or protozoans, typically insects and other arthropods, and occasionally small mammals and birds. And they still generate energy through the process of photosynthesis. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like to learn more about exciting topics please let us know through comments. See you in the next video with another exciting topic.